In the energy sector, the buying and selling of properties is a constant fact of life, and the acquisition and divestiture arena is fiercely competitive, making access to the right information critical for success. So whether your organization is buying or selling, you need to ensure that the relevant records are properly managed before, during, and after the sale. At TAP, we've been helping energy companies with the acquisition and divestiture process for years, and we can help your organization too. What is the most important thing when it comes to records management during the acquisition and divestiture process? The most important thing in terms to records management as far as acquisitions and divestiture goes, I think is definitely that we don't allow any disruption of flow of information. Work doesn't stop for these companies and so the um, access to that information can't stop either. And in an acquisition, those are new properties for these oil and gas clients. They want to see those properties, they want to see those records immediately because this is all brand new for them and they want to look at them, see what the reserves are, see everything that's down that hole, what kind of potential it's got. So it's key that they can get their hands on these records immediately. How do you ensure that a client has continuous access to their information? We organize that information to make it easily retrievable by the business units. So yeah, we can answer to any business unit. So if a geologist wants something, we know what type of record he would be looking for. You know, the operations group, the land groups, if it's a surface contract, mineral, um, you know, those types of things. So yeah, we can separate it so quickly that there's no disruption like Joel said at the very beginning. They can start working on these plays right away. Describe how TAB's merge and purge process helps with acquisitions and divestitures. Merge and purge plays a really big factor in acquisitions. When we get all those new records from the oil and gas company that's bought them, they could have already had an existing interest in those areas, so there may be duplicate files. So what we do is we do what we call a merge and purge. We actually go through them, get rid of duplication, and create a new file from, say, two, three, four different files. What about permission and security? We ensure permission and security for um, information through acquisition and divestiture by Retrieving that information from the company of who is to be able to access, have access to that information. Um, we organize it, as I said, by the business units and by the information types. So we classify that information and then we um, allow the people that are approved from that company to be able to access that information. So like using our electronic database, Tab Fusion, we would actually put those records in and we would actually have the clients assigned to those records that could actually look at them. So if another client asked for one of those records, we could see immediately that they couldn't have access. Why is records integration so important in the acquisition and divestiture process? With uh, acquisitions, integration into one system is a key component. If you don't, what ends up happening is you gotta think when these companies buy property, then they sell it to another company, then they sell it to another company. And then when another company buys it, they could be getting five, six different legacy companies' files. If they've never integrated it into one file system, one standard with one standard naming convention, finding their information for them is very difficult. So they might be looking for a surface lease. We might have to go into five different files, whereas if we did an integration into one standard, we would just have to go into one file. A lot of that legacy information is invaluable as well. So certain companies may have spent more money on reservoir engineering studies that will save them having them done again. So if we classify that and integrate them uh, properly, then we can easily access that information, such as surface land information or any reservoir information that they might need. How do you ensure that your client's records meet compliance requirements? We ensure compliance because again, it goes back to the knowledge workers. We know what should be in a record. If there is proprietary information, personal information there, we inform the client so we can do redaction on actual documents. We make sure that nothing goes out that 
Uh, sometimes we'll have auditors on site, for instance. They are only allowed to see particular files, so we make sure that everything is compliant. But we also ensure that the oil and gas companies are compliant as far as it comes to regulatory standards. We can tell them if they are supposed to have uh, gone to the e or EUB with, uh, to get a name change, and we haven't got that form in our file. So we can inform them of missing information that makes them non-compliant. If you'd like to find out more about how we can help your company through the acquisition and divestiture process, please click the link below.